And so we come to the examination itself. If you have learnt your pieces in good time, play them through occasionally and go on and learn some other pieces or concentrate on other aspects of the exam. It is essential to get the balance right so that there is no last minute panic, but on the other hand, that the pieces are not stale through over practice. A successful exam will, to a large extent, depend on the care you have taken in preparation. But you must also consider the element of nervousness, since you may have had little experience of playing in front of others. Here are some practical exercises. Ask your teacher to give you one or two mock exams two to three weeks before the exam. This will give you an impression of the exam itself and still give you some time to work on any aspects which come up. Take every opportunity to play your pieces to family or friends, listening to any helpful advice. Look for performance opportunities in playing as a soloist or part of an ensemble, accompanying or duet playing. One of the best ways of getting used to performing is to play with others. These all give you experience of playing to others while taking the spotlight off your own performance. Also take every opportunity to go to concerts and watch others perform. When the day of the examination gets near, play through your pieces in the clothes you'll be wearing on the day, including the shoes, making sure you are comfortable but taking care over your appearance in the same way that you'll have taken care over every other part of the exam. Work out in advance how to get to the exam centre so that you arrive about 10 minutes before and make sure you know how to pronounce the titles and composers of your pieces if asked for by the examiner. Arrange to practice on the piano on which you'll be playing if at all possible, or at least make sure you have had experience of playing on different pianos. Otherwise, when it comes to performing on a strange instrument, you may find it difficult to adjust, particularly if the piano you are playing on is a grand piano and you've only ever played on an upright one, where the music desk is a different height. In the waiting room, check to make sure that your hands are warm, and if you feel nervous, focus on deep breathing. When you enter the exam room, smile and greet the examiner and adjust the stool if necessary, so that it is the right height. If you have the choice, then consider starting with your scales first in order to get used to the touch of the piano. If you choose to play from memory, then make sure you really know the piece as well. It is better to play from the copy reading the music than risk memory lapses and give a halting performance. Throughout the exam, stay calm, playing even the wrong notes beautifully. And if you enjoy the whole experience, it's likely the examiner will too. When the result arrives, read through the mark form carefully and concentrate on how you can use any comments to help your playing. If you are disappointed, consider whether you have prepared thoroughly for every part of the exam and have been realistic about the standard you have reached. However, the chances are that if you have really taken this whole exam business seriously, you will succeed. I hope you have found this video useful and good luck.